Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minitough, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Damage Indicator mod. So, I get a lot of mod requests, so here you go. Here's the next highest rated mod. So, what I'm thinking about doing is adding a link in the description where you can actually request for me to do a certain, you know, mod installation video. So, you know, maybe for each category of video, I'll do like a you know, it'll be in a different category, so I'll have, like, mod installations are here, and then I've got, you know, let's play ideas are here, or map playthroughs, or blah, blah, blah. But, you know, maybe I think this would be a good idea, because I got a lot of requests, and doing it that way would kind of make it easier for me to, you know, get everything sorted out and know which mods have the most requests for me to do a video on. So, with that said, here is the damage indicator mod. So, you're going to need two things to install the mod. You're going to need the mod itself and Minecraft Forge. So I've done videos with the Forge before, so it's, it's actually really simple. So all you have to do is go to the second link in the description, which will be files.minecraftforge.net. And I always download the latest build, just because I like the latest, and then grab the universal version. This one always seems to work, so just make sure you get that version. And then we'll go back and we will download the actual Minecraft Forge itself. So we'll press you know, skip add and it's automatically going to download. Now let's go back to the original Minecraft, you know, Damage Indicator mod, and we'll click Damage Indicator mod 1.5.2. We'll download that, we'll go through the ad fly, and that'll be good. And one thing I like to mention is make sure that your mod is compatible with the current version of Minecraft. So, you know, if you go back here, and you see that, oh no, this thing is 1.4.7 and you're running 1.5.2 well then don't try to install it it's not going to work make sure the title has the current minecraft version in it so just just keep that in mind guys don't try to install the mod that's not for the right version of minecraft so then go ahead and go to your downloads folder and you will find the two files so i'm just going to put them on my desktop for safekeeping and oh it's going to copy i forgot about that i moved my downloads folder to my my actual my, like second hard drive it's pretty sweet though so okay now that you've got that done let's go ahead and install minecraft forge this is what you have to do first so first thing you're going to do is go to your minecraft folder so to go to your minecraft folder go ahead and click start and then type in percent app data percent and i'm going to do it a different way that's what everyone tells you to do what i do is you press the windows key and r and this will bring up the run command or you could go in here and you could type in run and run it like that or you could click here and hit run. All three will do the same thing. And then type in percent app data percent, just like I have it there, percent app data percent, and press OK. Now the reason I do it like that is, all right, I press it again, Command R, and it already saved percent app data percent. So now, every time I want to get to my Minecraft folder, I can just do it that way. It saves you quite a bit of time. So go ahead and do that. It will take you to your, your username, app data roaming. And what you want to do is find your .minecraft folder, and I always tell you to do this, just do it. Copy this and paste it to your desktop. And the reason I do this is if you screw up, which is likely, you know, some people screw up. I, I know I get lots of comments like, I hate you, you screwed up my Minecraft. Well, make a backup. If you screw up, then just fix it. So if you if you screw it up, your Minecraft won't launch just Go ahead and try force updating your Minecraft. If that doesn't work, then just put this folder and replace this one. So now, what we're going to do is actually force update our Minecraft. So, all you have to do is open this up and click the force update button before you actually log in. And once you do that, it, it will refresh all your Minecraft files. But, I like to say this, if you have, um, like, unpacked your, your Minecraft.jar and it won't force update, it'll say error or get stuck at downloading... All you have to do is delete your bin folder. This is how I do it because I just I just like to do it that way. So I deleted my bin folder, and now when I start up Minecraft, you don't have to choose Force Update, and it will automatically download. In layman's terms, here's what you do. You copy your .minecraft to your desktop. You open Minecraft. You choose Force Update, and I'll meet you guys back here in five seconds. All right, dudes, my Minecraft is still updating, and voila, we have Minecraft Force Updated. So now that we have successfully gotten to the home screen, we can now be assured that we are running a fresh Minecraft.jar. So let's just, let's wait for this thing to load here for freaking forever. And there we go. And I'm running a texture pack. That's why it looks different. So now you can go ahead and quit the game. And you can see that your bin folder is now, now back. All you have to do is go into your bin 
and open up your Minecraft.jar. If you don't have WinRAR, then you need to download that. I will have a link in the description. Just click download, install it. It's it's a free program, but every time you open it up, it's going to say, hey, purchase WinRAR. In my case, I have the full version, so I don't have that, but normally it will just be a pop-up and say purchase it, but you can just click close. So now that you've got that, go ahead and delete MetaInf. And I always, you, know, you have to do that or else you'll get a black screen. So that's the first thing you want to do. It just prevents it prevents you from tampering with the files, although Minecraft is meant to be messed with. So I don't understand why it's there. It doesn't matter though. We'll, we'll do it that way anyway. So now, now you have your Minecraft Forge Universal. Open that up as well. And it's weird how there's a meta imp folder in there, although this one will work. So now you've got your Minecraft Forge Universal and you go ahead and go Command and uh, no, it's file select all. Sorry about that. File select all, or you can do you know you can do control A. That's what I do. And I like telling you the, the the other way. So go ahead and select everything and drag it into your Minecraft.jar. See, it's Minecraft.jar. Don't put it in a folder. Just put it off here into the blank space and nowhere. And then just leave these files the same. Archive format, zip, blah blah blah. Update and replace. Normal. Okay. And choose okay. And it should be done pretty quickly. Then, then all you have to do is load Minecraft one more time, and this is to verify that you have installed Minecraft Forge correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft, and I'll see you guys in the main menu again. All right, dudes, we, I'm logging in right now, and I just wanted to show you. It's going to say FML is updating your Minecraft. And once it does that, it should load up Minecraft, and then you're good. Minecraft will work with the actual mod we are going to install. Right now, you have no mods installed. Well, you technically have a mod, which allows you to install mods it's weird so now you've got you know you've got your mods option you've got minecraft forge installed correctly so go ahead go back to your you know your minecraft bin jar thing and you will find if you go back here you're in your minecraft folder you'll find a mods folder and it should be empty so you know you're in your minecraft folder i'll show you again command r enter dot minecraft mods so all you have to do is open up the mods folder and then all you have to do is drag in this file. So you have your damage indicator mod, drag it inside the mods folder, and you're done. So now I'm going to load up Minecraft, and I will prove to you that we've got the mod installed correctly. All right, guys, we now have the mod successfully installed. And as you notice, maybe you didn't notice, or you did, we now have four mods installed. I don't know why it comes preloaded with three mods. I don't know if they're even a mod. What do they do? I don't know. But... That's, we've got four mods now, so all we have to do is load up a world, so I'm just going to play my Tough in the Minecraft world, and I will show you that we actually have the damage indicator mod installed. Oh! Ooh, this, I'm not running Optifine on this, so just, yeah, just, just ignore that. That's my texture pack. I will, I will switch texture packs for you. You don't need to. It doesn't, it shouldn't look like that, so don't, don't worry about that, dudes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, let's go down to my mod trap, and I will show you that we have damage indicators installed and ignore my my lagginess it's just Camtasia it, it won't make you lag even though I have like a beast computer it, it shouldn't make you lag so what we'll do is we'll wait and maybe if we look at them through the glass will that work ah there you go I'm breaking down my house just to prove a mod oh it works so that's pretty sweet it actually it actually works pretty well so there you guys have it the mod is successfully installed so are you dudes, you, do you want me to wait for him to come down? I can do that, but now I broke this down. Oh no. Oh no. Hurry up, guys. I don't want to bore the people. Oh, that would be so horrible. I can't have anyone be bored in a mod installation video. Oh, you want, you want some proof? Oh, there we go, skeleton. He's trying to shoot at me. He probably shouldn't do that, because I'm doing a mod installation video. You can't. Oh man, he hit me. What now? So, there you guys go. That's pretty much it for the video. And make sure you guys submit what you want me to do. You know, I'll have that link in the description. It's a Google form. So, yeah, I'm not t stealing all your personal information or anything. <laughs> all I want is what mods do you want me to install? Because I get a lot of requests. And this will make it a lot easier for me to actually know what mod is the most wanted. And that the video I can do. So, with that said, guys, I will see you in the next video. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace out, uh, all my peoples. Bye.